Good morning, everybody. My name is Steve Dion. I'm currently serving as the president of the board of directors of NorCal. One of the better moments of any given year in this position is being able to attend and participate in this event, the member meeting, or in other years, it's the uh, California Photo Convention. Before we move on to all the different informational sessions we'll be going through, I wanted to take some time this morning to address the membership and also provide our FedEx partners an opportunity to do the same on the major points regarding our kind of game-changing contract with, uh, with FedEx, the new FedEx contract. Now, I'm sure that many of you have read some of the NorCal communications and documentation that we put out on this issue. And I'm also sure that many of you have questions, uh, possibly even some concerns about the uh, nature of the contract and the rollout and the impact it's going to have both short and long term on our industry. My goal today is to walk you through the new contract's aspects, including a brief history of the negotiation process that we went through with FedEx. To begin with, let me take you back to our quarterly NorCal board meeting in March of 2008. That's how far back this whole process goes. FedEx had requested a meet with the board at that time. Now, if you remember 2008, there was a lot of things going on economically, you know, financially, there were some real negative hits, not just in the floral industry, but in, in all industries uh, worldwide. And, you know, FedEx, needless to say, was not immune to uh, the impact of those things any more than, than uh, the California floral industry was. Now, Pete Leary attended that meeting, Pete's with us today, and I'm calling you out on this, Pete, because uh, you were the man chosen to deliver the message that day. Um, he came in and explained that FedEx's intent they had a need to redefine the NorCal agreement, the NorCal contract. Now, this is a contract that goes back many, many years and had you know, produced very high shipping volumes both for FedEx and for California Flowers. And I think everybody would agree it's, it's consistently been one of the most significant advantages for California floral distribution in an otherwise very competitive uh, shipping environment out there. So what Pete explained to us is that our shipping volume as an association had declined over the years from a peak of 27 million annual net to a currently $7.1 million annual net, which is a huge drop. Now, it would be a conversation around the day as to where those numbers exactly came from, but we'll accept them for the purpose of this uh, conversation today. Um, FedEx had identified that NorCal had a diminished ability to influence shipper behavior especially uh, in light of a movement by both UPS and FedEx to work tailor-made custom contracts for some of the largest shippers in order to ensure that they didn't lose that piece of the business. So slowly the association, there was a kind of a dissolving effect that was taking place just through natural business forces. Uh, NorCal also had an unusually high cost to serve and these were due to multiple uh, factors including a high number of very small shippers, we had a lot of remote locations, we had unique package characteristics, we had very high claims relative to other industries, and the pass-through discount also was uh, being viewed as an issue at that time. Now, as a result of this analysis, the proposal came to the board that day that FedEx would be offering a new multi-tiered pricing structure and they were proposing 13 tiers at that time. So NorCal would be chopped and divided up into 13 different shipper groups based on volume and your rate would be tied to the amount of volume that you ship. The tiers would result in a rate increase for 164 of our 198 members at that time. Uh, it was For that group of 164, the rate increase would be the tune of about a 20% increase. When I say rate increase, what I really mean is discount decrease. The amount of percentage of, of uh, discount off the listed rates would be dropping, therefore the rates you pay would be going up. There would be a rate decrease for eight members. Of those eight members, the majority of them were ag buddies, not floral shippers. The ag buddies are the, the group in our association that um, produce through FedEx. Uh, there would be an, elim an elimination of various accessorial incentives. Uh, we were talking about things like the Saturday delivery waiver, the DIM factor, all this was in question at the time. Uh, there would be a waiver of the service guarantee, which means late shipments would no longer be uh, guaranteed by according to the, the FedEx you know, listed policy. And the big one is there would be a complete elimination of the pass-through discount. So, now imagine for a moment sitting on the board at that time, 
coming to the end of this meeting, I think we stuttered some sort of response like, thank you very much, and talk to you soon. And uh, at that point, the board decided we need to circle the wagons. We need to come up with a, a solution. We need to look for a win-win because this is clearly uh, somewhat of a catastrophic development for the California coal industry and our relationship with FedEx. So what we did is um, we went out and, and recruited some help. And uh, we engaged a gentleman by the name of Rob Martinez to help us uh, through the negotiation process. Rob is here with us today. Thank you, Rob. And um, so we, we brought both FedEx and UPS to the table. And that, you know, we had to look at all of our options. You know, we had this fantastic relationship going back decades with FedEx, but at this point we were clearly dealing with a new set of factors. After 18 months of negotiations, 18 months of going back and forth with the RFP process, fine tuning, crafting an agreement, working with executives, uh, primarily on the FedEx side, we eventually, in November of 2009, we arrived at what we feel was the ultimate win-win for everybody involved. And what the new contract entailed, and contrast this to what I just described as the initial proposal at the time of the uh, meeting in 2008. We ended up with flat, uniform pricing for all members, regardless of size. We ended up with a rate decrease for all members in excess of 10%. We ended up with an earned discount, which provides the potential for NorCal to gain additional revenue from the FedEx contract, assuming certain shipping volumes are met in a year's time. We maintained and expanded all of the access oil concessions. We kept the service guarantee. And lastly, we created a creative solution uh, to substitute for what used to be the pass-through discount. So, in a nutshell, we accomplished virtually every goal that was on, I shouldn't say virtually, we accomplished every goal that was on the table. The primary reason for expanding the contract, now let's get into the pass-through issue for a moment. That was going away. It was never open for discussion. Uh, FedEx made it clear this has to do with legacy computer system, it has to do with billing practices, all sorts of uh, data management and, um, and account management reasons, the past year was going away. So what this meant as we looked at it as a board is that we could still offer the discount, but our members would be forced in a position to have to prepay outbound shipments. Now prepaying the outbound shipments would force all the members in this room to carry the accounts receivable, it would be an additional accounts receivable burden and exposure. And additional to that, if you're prepaying outbound freight, most people would enter a prepay and ad model where you have to surcharge or mark up the freight to cover your cost of administering the program, which would, in effect, dilute the advantage of the discount to begin with. So what we did is we uh, made the decision in conjunction with FedEx to allow the ability to roll out the program across the floral industry so that the receivers could obtain a linked account and earn the discount through linking with the NorCal Master account. This was the solution that we came up with. Uh, some clear advantages uh, arise from this solution. First of all, we increased our overall membership numbers. Uh, we created uh, what we consider to be an unprecedented channel of communication to the floral industry for California news, freight updates, whatever we choose to use that channel for in the future by virtue of the NorCal news. Um, we gave everybody in the floral industry on the receiving end some skin in the game when it comes to dealing with California flowers and their interest in, in how they obtain their California flowers. And we drive uh, additional new volumes with FedEx, strengthening our ability to remain in partnership with FedEx moving forward in the future. The results of this is we have picked up 359 new associate members of the association. So the association meeting that you're attending today is with a group that's over three times the size of last year's member meeting, which is remarkable. NorCal News is now hitting between five and 600 email inboxes on a weekly basis, carrying all of the important information people need to know about what's going on in California. We have had a huge jump in shipping volumes uh, to the tune of about 38%, and Rick will be able to expand on those numbers a little bit when, when he speaks to the group. And, you know, we went from what was, you know, looking to be a fairly dire situation to what ended up being an uninterrupted service engagement with FedEx, which allowed everybody to just move on and conduct their business. 